George Washington Carver, the first environmentalist. We've got five fingers, so I'm going to give you five facts about George Washington Carver, the famous agricultural scientist and inventor and recipe writer. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to our channel. George was born into slavery on a property owned by the Carver family in Missouri in 1864. After slavery was abolished in Missouri in 1865, he was adopted by the Carvers. Finger 1. George got an education. Mrs Carver taught George to read and love learning. Black kids weren't allowed in local schools back then, so he learnt a lot by himself and eventually he graduated from high school. Finger 2. George was clever and he was determined. No local colleges would accept George, so interested in botany, he started farming a small piece of land, doing experiments on the soil all by himself and making beautiful drawings of plants and flowers. Soon he became Iowa State's Agricultural College's first black student and there he got his bachelor's and then his master's degree in botany. Finger 3 George became head of agricultural studies at Tuskegee University where his job came with an apartment, a good salary and a laboratory to conduct his research. There he worked on ways to help American farmers to develop crops other than cotton to feed themselves and word soon spread of his talents. Finger 4 George Carver was one of the first environmentalists. He cared deeply about the earth that was exhausted from growing cotton non-stop. He came up with clever ideas to enrich the soil and encouraged farmers to try growing peanuts, soy and sweet potatoes. And he was creative too. He thought up over a hundred recipes that used peanuts. But peanut butter wasn't one of them by the way. That was Marcellus Gilmore Edston and later John Harvey Kellogg. Finger 5. George Carver's work was recognised at the highest level. He became famous as the soil and plant expert and advised several prominent US politicians like Calvin Coolidge and Franklin D. Roosevelt. He became friends with the car maker Henry Ford and even helped out Mahatma Gandhi with his experience and know-how. From the toughest start imaginable, George Washington Carver grabbed life with both hands. He overcame humiliation and prejudice all the way to rise up and become one of the most notable figures in the American story. Today, dozens of schools are named after him. He's in the Hall of Fame for Great Americans. His face has been on stamps, on dollars, and you can visit the National Monument in his honor in Diamond, Missouri. Go and find out about him. Thank you, George Washington Carver.